Hi guys, this is Carol with Create Your Future and I am here today to share another amazing, beautiful success story from one of my clients. Um, right before I get started, um, if you like this video, please um, like, share, subscribe. Um, so this client, um, she actually booked a session with me after she had purchased uh, my course on how to make them fall madly in love with you using everyone as you pushed out. So she actually, she manifested her SB back after the course, um, still available, go check it out. And um, then she came to coaching um, with her SB back in her life and she wanted to work on him actually proposing because after they had broken up for several months, she was able to manifest in back um, with, you know, her affirmations and her mental diet, which we'll get into. But then, you know, she heard everything that she wanted to hear, him saying, um, I love you, I miss you so much, you're, you know, you're the woman that I want to be with for the rest of my life, um, everything that she wanted. However, he was still telling her, but I don't believe in marriage, but I don't, um, I don't want to get married. I just, I just want to be with you. I am committed to you, but no marriage. Um, so marriage means a lot to her. She really wants to get married. She wants to get married. She's never been married before. Um, so yes, that's what we started working on. And um, one of the first things that she did, of course, when she started working on getting him back, and it's something that I go in depth a lot um, in my course, which is working on her self-concept and working on herself and working on her God self, which is, you know, something that I am very adamant about, about, you know, you working on yourself first, making this about you, um, understanding that this is, it has been about you the whole time because this is about your experience in your bubble, right? So we started working on the self-concept, um, her self-concept about her power and her got self-concept, which, you know, means that if I want him to marry me, then that's all I need to know. I don't, that's all I need. I just need to know that that's what I want and therefore that's what it is because I am the one deciding what shows up in my own reality. You know, I am the one deciding what shows up in my own world. So one of the things that we worked on was, okay, so who are you? You know, I asked, we don't manifest what we want. We manifest who we are. So I started asking her questions. So who are you? Who do you want to be? I want to be his wife. I, I want to, I want to, I want him to propose. I want to be his fiance. I want, okay, well then let's start affirming that this is who you are. I am the woman that he wants to marry. I am the woman that he is thinking about proposing right now at this very moment. Because you are creating your reality right now, your 3D, you're creating it with your mind at this very moment. Whatever he said, is in the past. Whatever he said no longer exists. It's already dead. He said, I don't want to marry you. I don't want to marry anyone. Good. Thank you. That's one less thing for me to worry about. It already manifested. It's done. And I always say, once it manifests, it dissipates into the thin air. That's done. That is just my bell that reminds me what I need to continue persisting on. So she started affirming. I am the woman that he wants to marry. I am the woman that he's thinking of proposing right now. She started picturing him looking at rings. He's looking at rings right now. He's going to ask me my ring size. And she just kept on going and going and going. She scripted every single day. She started scripting her experience, her proposal, anything that she decided to do because she was inspired to do so. She did it from the knowing that I am the God of my reality. Therefore, I am the only one with free will. So I am the only one that decides what's going to happen, how he shows up in my reality. And I am the only one giving commands here. So even when he tells her, I don't want to marry anyone. I don't believe in marriage. In her mind, she's, yes, you do. You do believe in this because you don't get to decide. I get to decide, period. So we continue working on this. And 
I think that the one thing that really helped was keeping her focus and keeping all her attention and all her energy on what she wanted. And in those moments that she felt, which it happens to all of us, that she felt that, you know, she might have a negative thought or something in the 3D did not quite work out or was not working out for, you know, to her benefit. Um, we decided that she was just going to stop. This is something that I have done because I am an overthinker. And there's a lot of people that are able to um, just affirm the opposite when a negative thought comes. And there's a lot of people that are able to just look at the 3D and be like, no, that's not what's going to happen. This is what's going to happen. I'm able to do that in some instances, but there's other instances in which what I want is so meaningful, or maybe it has so many emotional, so much emotional attachment to it um, that I, I might overthink it. So one of the things that I have done that has helped me a lot, and I always recommend for everyone to do it, is to just stop, stop, talk to it. You're gonna tell your 3D, you stop. You're gonna tell your thoughts, stop. You're gonna talk to your negative thoughts. You're going to talk to your 3D and you're going to tell everybody, listen, you all need to stop right now. I am in charge. I am in control. So no matter what it is that you're thinking, no matter what it is that you're seeing, you're going to use that opportunity to affirm who you are. I am in control. I am in charge. I have the power. And once you have leveled, and you center yourself, and you feel that you're in complete control, then you go on affirming whatever it is that you want to affirm about. But there's moments that I just don't feel like fighting my thoughts. I don't feel like fighting with my 3D. Because what happens when you fight or resist a thought? There's so much energy that goes into resisting a negative thought. There's so much energy that goes into resisting or reacting to your 3D. And I'm not asking you to not cry or feel anxious about it. We are going to have those moments. It's normal. We're humans. We're not robots. What, I'm, what I am suggesting is when those moments come, rather than deposit all your energy onto something that has no power, your 3D has no power. And we put so much energy into that. We give so much energy to the 3D. So rather than putting all that energy into the 3D, using all that pent up energy from whatever feelings you're having, even if it's sadness, anxiety, um, desperation, using all that energy and refocusing where it actually counts, where it actually matters, which is in here, inside, and using all that energy to remind yourself who you are. No, stop. You all stop. I want you to talk to it. Stop. I am in charge. I am the God of my reality. I am in complete control. I am the only one that decides. And then when you feel that you have your power back, you affirm. You affirm about it. But you always take control of the situation first. And you use those moments to do so. And that is one of the things that she did every time she had a conversation. Every time that she would even talk to her friends about marriage. She even got invited to a wedding. It was like, I don't want to go to a wedding. But, you know. And he was like so adamant about it. But guess what happened? She started focusing on herself. I am in charge. I am in control. I get to decide that I am the woman that he wants to marry. I get to decide that I am the one that he wants to spend the rest of his life with. I get to decide that I am the one that he puts a ring on. So she was just very focused on becoming this person. She's no longer the person waiting for that to happen. She became the person who's already walking through her reality, being that, being engaged, being his fiance. And little by little, this took about a month. I'm telling you, it was like instant shift like that. This took about a month. So little by little, he just stopped talking about it. And all of a sudden, he asked her during dinner, would you ever want to marry someone? And if, if so, would you, eat, would you want to marry me? And she said, well, of course. I mean, I love you. Why not? I've been asking you about marriage this entire time. And I just thought because you, you know, I just, I just wanted to give you space. And then he said to her, well, 
I've never wanted to get married because of, you know, past experiences. It's not something that I've been longing for. But for the past few days, I've been thinking about it and I can only think about it with you. So she left it at that. Next thing you know, a lot of things started happening right in the middle of between the last time that I saw her and the next time that I saw her. And then when I saw her, which was this morning, and that's why I'm recording this, when I turn on the video, she turns on the video, all she did was this. She put her hand onto the screen and she just showed me the ring. And she said, he proposed. He finally did it. And he was very shy about it. He sat next to her and he had the ring in his pocket and he was so nervous. And she was like, what's going on? What's wrong with you? Like you, you look so nervous. And all he did was pull it out. And he said, I don't know if this is going to work, but I don't know that whatever happens from now on, I want it to be with you. So he pulled out the ring. He proposed. It was beautiful. It was magical. She's engaged and she's happy because she maintained her mental diet. She worked on her self-concept and she worked on her self-concept as being the God of her reality, being the one who has a choice, being the one that, you know, even if you're affirming about them, you are affirming about your experience. So I always say, this is about you, not about them. Yes, this is about you in relation to them. You care about them, you want them. Of course, you're going to be affirming about them, but this is, about your experience. How are you experiencing them? How are they showing up in your reality? How are you choosing to experience them in your reality? So it's all about you, okay? And I will always say this. And if you wanna know more about self-concept and you wanna work on your self-concept, I am here for coaching. This is my favorite topic. It is. It has helped me so much work on confidence and self-love and, and how you build yourself up and become the person who's already receiving what they want, which is the key here. This is like what living in the end feels like. Um, so I am available for coaching. I am so happy to be here. I am so happy to share this with you. Please go check out my course. Um, thank you everyone that has been sending feedback. I am getting the email, so I really appreciate it. And um, well guys, this is it. So see you next time. Love you all so much. And um, yeah, I will see you next week. Bye, guys.